Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to Jinda DIY. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a V-neck pot sleeve top. For this top pattern, it is the same thing like the V-neck rouge top. I just make it a little bit different by make new texture with Suzette stitch and a little bit different at the back part. Okay, now let's get into the video. First, we are going to make the lower part. For the lower part of this top, we're working on the length way. It is measuring from one underarm to another underarm. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 71 it is equal 14.2 inches length if you guys want it bigger please add more chains make sure that your foundation chain is the odd number So for this one, it is just a sample for showing you how to make the Suzette stitch. After you reach your desired fit, next, for row 1, we are going to make half the ball crochet. To begin, skip 2 chains and we are going to make half the ball crochet into the 3rd chain. To make half the ball crochet, yarn over. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Keep repeating this into every chain until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, next, for row 2, we are going to make the zigzag stitch. To begin, chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into the stitch near chain 1. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now, you have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. After you have made single crochet, then we are going to make double crochet into the same loop with single crochet. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops again. So for this Suzette stitch, we are going to make one single crochet and one double crochet into the same loop. After you have two stitches in the same loop, next, skip one stitch. Then we are going to make single crochet and double crochet into the next stitch. K 
keep repeating this by skip one stitch and make single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch until you have two last stitches then I will meet you back again So now we are going to skip one stitch and make single crochet into the very last stitch. This is what the first row of Suzette stitch looks like. Next, for row 3, we are going to repeat row 2 by chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet and double crochet into the same loop. Remember, chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. Then skip one stitch and make single crochet and double crochet into the same loop again.
Remember for the suicide stitch? At the beginning of the row, we start with single crochet and double crochet into the same loop. And for the end of the row, we end with a single crochet. I am going to show you guys again to make sure that everything is clear so you will not confusing when we working on the bust part and the sleeves. One more thing to remember, make sure that you crochet a single crochet and a double crochet stitch into the single crochet stitch. It means that these two stitches must be in the single crochet stitch or the single crochet loop. So when you're working on the bust part or the sleeves, the suicide stitch pattern will look right. And you can figure out by yourself how to make the top bigger or the sleeves bigger. Keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 15. It is equal 3.2 inches width. If you guys want your top longer, please add more rows. After you got your desired fit, next fold this lower part into two pieces and use stitch marker to mark the middle part. So this is the two stitch in one loop, I am going to skip it. Then count 8 stitches away from the middle part and use stitch marker to mark at the 8 stitch. Make sure that your stitch marker is marked at the single crochet stitch. Like I said, the single crochet stitch is where we will kink the stitch into it. Next, count the same number into the other side. So the reason that we mark this part is because we are going to separate the bust part left and right and also to make an open under boob here as you can see. Okay now continue from where your last stitch is for row 16, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until you reach the stitch marker then I will meet you back again. After you reach your stitch marker, then chain 9, it is the number that reach until the middle stitch marker. Then 
then add one more chain in total you must have 10 chains next for row 17 turn your work then skip one chain so you must have nine chains remain like i said you should have the odd number for working on the suzette stitch Keep making Suzette stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row for row 18, chain 1, turn your work, then make Suzette stitch until the end of the row. Thank you. 
keep repeating row 18 until you reach row 30. It is equal 3 inches width. It is the size from under bust to the under arm. If you guys have big boobs, please add more rows. After you reach row 30, next for row 31, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches and we are going to make decrease. For making decrease here, I am going to skip 1 stitch and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And for 2 last stitches remain, I am going to skip it. Next, for row 32, chain 1, turn your work. Skip 1 stitch. Then make suzette stitch until the end of the row. For row 33 until row 42, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until the end of the row. After you reach row 42, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the same thing to the other side, but it have a little bit different by not turning the top instead of attach the yarn at the second stitch marker. First, we are going to make a slip knot and chain 10. Then insert the hook into the stitch where we mark, yarn over and pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. 
we are going to make a single crochet and a double crochet into the same stitch. It means that we are going to make Suzette stitch into each single crochet stitch until the end of the row. Then, I will meet you back again. For row 2, chain 1, turn your work, and make that stitch into every single crochet stitch until you reach the stitch near chain 10, then I will meet you back again. As you can see, this is the wrong side of the chain. When you flip it back, you can see the right side of the chain. It means that we are going to make Suzette stitch into the wrong side of the chain. Skip one chain and make two stitches into the same loop. Keep repeating this like you did in the lower part. For the next next row, repeat row 2 until you reach row 15, then I will meet you back again.
After you reach row 15, next for row 16, turn your work and we are going to make the crease like the other side but it a little bit different by make slip stitch into the next two stitches. To make slip stitch, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then chain 1 Skip 1 stitch And make suzette stitch into every single crochet stitch until the end of the row Then I will meet you back again For row 17 until row 27, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until the end of the row. After you reach row 27, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the back part of the top. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Then make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row and I will meet you back again.
After you reach the end of the row, next for row 2, chain 1, turn your work, then make zigzag stitch into every single crochet stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. For the next next row, repeat row 2 until you reach row 15, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For the second side, we are going to repeat the same thing like the first one. Next, we are going to make the sleeves. I'm working on the right sleeve first. To begin, we are going to make the strap by attaching the yarn into the front side. Then make 68 chains. It is equal 12.5 inches length. If you guys want the strap longer, please add more chains. After you reach your desired fit, next we are going to turn the top upside down and make slip stitch into the back side of the top. Make sure that the chains doesn't twist. Next, we are going to continue making slip stitch into the next 3 stitches. After you have made 3 slip stitch, then make the ball crochet into every chain until you reach the other side and I will meet you back again. So for this 
part we just make the bogger shape into the stitch until you reach the bottom of the row we are going to connect the strap into the back part of the top by making the bogger shape slip stitch To make the ball crochet slip stitch, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop of the bust part, yarn over and push through the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Then continue insert the hook into the stitch of the back part, yarn over and push through all 2 loops. Then continue insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and push through all the loops. So this is what the strap looks like after slip stitch into the back side of the top. Next, for row 2, slip stitch into the next 3 stitches. Then turn your work and make the ball crochet into every stitch until you have one last stitch. Then we are going to make the ball crochet slip stitch again. Next, for row 3, we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2. After you got 3 rows of the ball crochet, next, we are going to make the puff sleeve part or the Suzette stitch part. To begin, chain 1. You can use stitch marker to mark where you chain 1. It is easy to know where you start and where you end the row. Then, make a single crochet. It is for the underarm part. For the underarm part, you can make many single crochet as you want. It doesn't matter. The reason that we make single crochet at the underarm part because I don't want too much fabric around the underarm. After you have made single crochet at the underarm part, next make Suzette stitch around the strap until you reach the other side. Then we are going to make single crochet again at the underarm part until you reach chain 1 stitch where you use stitch marker to mark it. Then I will meet you back again.
after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the chain 1 stitch to connect the row. For row 5, chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every single crochet that you did in the previous row. Then we are going to make suzette stitch around the sleeve until you reach the other side or until you reach where we make single crochet. Then we are going to make single crochet decrease. To make single crochet decrease, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, then continue insert the hook into the next loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Repeat this until you reach chain one stitch. Then we are going to make slip stitch to connect the row. Next, for row 6, chain 1, turn your work. And we are going to repeat the same thing like we did in the previous row by making single crochet into every single crochet that we did in the previous row. Then make suzette stitch around the sleeve until you reach the other side or until you reach the single crochet stitch. Then we are going to make single crochet decrease again like we did in the row 5. Then I will meet you back again. Next, for row 7, we are not going to make decrease at the underarm part anymore. 
just make single crochet into the single crochet stitch then make zigzag stitch around the sleeve until you reach the other side make single crochet then slip stitch to connect the row Next, for row 8, chain 1, turn your work, make single crochet Then make zigzag stitch until you reach the top of the shoulder Then we are going to make increase After you reach the top of the shoulder, then we are going to make suicide increase by make 2 stitch into each stitch. We are not going to skip the stitch anymore. I am going to make increase for 6 times. It is equal to 12 stitches. If you guys want your puff sleeve look more puffy, please add more increase. After you have made increase, then make no more suzette stitch into every single crochet stitch until you reach the end of the arm part and make single crochet, then slip stitch to connect the row. Next, for row 9 until row 27, chain 1, turn your work, make single crochet at the end of the arm part, then make suicide stitch around the sleeve, no more increase, then make slip stitch to connect the row.
So this is what the sleeve looks like after you reach row 27. If you guys want the sleeve longer, please add more rows. Next, we are going to make the crease around the sleeve. Start from row 28, chain 1, then make single crochet decrease but make 3 stitches in 1 stitch keep making single crochet decrease into every stitch until you reach the end of the row then slip stitch into the chain 1 stitch to connect the row After you reach the end of the row, next for row 29, chain 1, turn your work and make 2 single crochet into the same loop. Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row, then slip stitch to connect the row.
Next, for row 30 and row 31, chain 1. Then make single crochet into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach the end of the row. Then make slip stitch to connect the row, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the left sleeve. It is the same thing like the right sleeve.
And now we are done making the sleeves. Next, we are going to make the lace hole. For the left side, I'm working from the bottom to the front side of the top. And for the right side, I'm working from the front of the top to the bottom. It is because I want the right side of the stitches is on the right side of the top. The process of making these lace holes is the same thing. Just one side attach the yarn from the bottom. And one side attach the yarn from the front of the top. For row 1, attach the yarn. And chain 1. Then make half the ball crochet into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. For row 2, chain 2, turn your work and make half the ball crochet into every stitch until you have one last stitch. Then we are going to make half the ball crochet slip stitch. Next, for row 3, make a slip stitch, then turn your work and make single crochet into every stitch until you reach the middle part of the sleeve, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the middle part of the sleeves, then chain 3, skip 3 stitches, and make 4 single crochet. The reason that we make the lace hole at the middle part of the sleeve, it is for support the sleeve not to fall off when you wear it. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn.
Next, for the back strap, make 7 chains, then skip 2 chains, and make 5 double crochet for 146 rows. It is equal 80 inches length. If you guys want the strap longer, please add more rows. And for the front string or the front lace, make 150 chains. If you guys want it longer, please add more chains. And now your v-neck post sleeve top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.